Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss the comparison between voltage stability and rotor angle stability. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lecture we have discussed what is voltage stability and in our previous chapter we have discussed the rotor angle stability. Okay. Uh, in power system stability, we have understood uh, the rotor angle stability concept. Okay, so let us here uh, compare these two stabilities related to the power system. Okay, basically, we know that uh, for the power system, we have three different types of the stability. The first one is rotor angle stability, second is the voltage stability, and the third one is the frequency stability. Okay, out of these two, let us compare the two that is the voltage stability and the rotor angle stability. Okay, so here first, let us discuss them uh, on the basis of their definitions. Okay, what is the voltage stability definition? Voltage stability is concerned with the ability of the power system to maintain acceptable voltages at all the buses under normal condition as well as if the system is subjected to a disturbance okay so this is called as the voltage stability if your system is able to maintain the voltages at all the buses within some acceptable limit under normal condition and even if it is subjected to the disturbances then it is called as voltage stable system what about the rotor angle stability it is the ability of the system to remain in synchronism when subjected to the disturbance. No issues uh, with the normal operating condition because uh, during normal operating condition, uh, the, the machines will remain in synchronism. But the issue of the synchronism will arise when the machines or if the system is subjected to the disturbances. Okay, then comes or uh, the voltage stability basically it is driven by the load characteristics so in some uh, in some cases the voltage stability is also called as the load stability okay so that is why the voltage stability is basically the load stability and the rotor angle stability uh, it is basically uh, the generator stability okay uh, both these terms are used interchangeably uh, sometime in the power in in the power system terminology rotor angle stability will be used or sometimes the generator stability term will be used same is the case for the voltage stability sometimes the voltage stability term will be used and in some cases the load stability term will be used okay now the voltage stability is concerned with the load areas and the load characteristics of course this is the reason why it is called as in some cases it is called as the load stability okay so load stability it is concerned with the load areas and load characteristics whereas the rotor angle stability is concerned with integrating a remote power plant to a large system over long transmission lines okay so these stabilities are concerned with the different things okay so first one that is the voltage stability it is concerning with load area and load characteristics whereas the rotor angle stability is mainly concerned with the integration of the power plants which are at remote location to the large system over a long transmission line okay now here if the voltage collapse in load area okay suppose in a particular load area if there is a voltage collapse okay then it is probably mainly a voltage instability problem okay whereas if suppose if the voltage collapse if it is on the transmission line and that too remote from the load then it is an angle instability problem okay try to get the difference between the voltage stability or voltage instability problem and rotor angle instability problem okay the voltage stability is affected by the reactive power control of course both are affected by the reactive power control okay uh, rotor angle stability is also affected by the reactive power control okay uh, but uh, in some cases 
we can discuss this rotor angle stability as a real power uh, control or the reactive power control problem okay but more specifically the voltage stability is mainly affected by the reactive power control only okay we can control the rotor angle with the help of real power and reactive power control voltage stability it depends on the system to maintain the equilibrium between the load demand and the load supply if suppose if the system is able to maintain the equilibrium between these two that is the load demand and the load supply then we can say that the system is having better voltage stability okay whereas the rotor angle stability we know that uh, if the machine if the synchronous machine is to maintain the uh, synchronism okay then it it has to maintain the equilibrium between these two torque that is the electromagnetic torque and the mechanical torque okay if the machine is able to maintain the equilibrium between these two torque then we can say that the machine will have the rotor angle stability okay transient voltage is closely associated okay with the uh, voltage stability again the long term voltage stability is less interlinked with the rotor angle stability okay so this is all related to the comparison between the voltage stability and the rotor angle stability thank you very much